So VO 3.1 just dropped and people are really digging it. I'm personally excited about the first and last frame generations. Basically you set up your first frame, you set up your last frame and VO 3.1 fills in the entire sequence in between them. It's super useful for narrative driven content. You got full control over where your story starts and ends and the model handles the creative transitions in between. But here's the thing, a lot of creators struggle with coming up with the right prompts. Everyone's got their secret sauce, you know what I mean? But we built an agent that's gonna help you out. It's a prompt agent specifically for VO 3.1. You just explain to it what you're going for and it creates a detailed prompt tailored for VO 3.1 to help you get your video idea across exactly how you want it. And guess what? The best part, it's totally free on Glyph.app. Now we got a bunch of agents on Glyph. We have agents that generate prompts for Zuno to create thumbnails, to create historical videos, infinite cling videos, and many more that you can go ahead and check out for yourself. But today we're focusing on the VO 3.1 prompter. So stick around, we're gonna show you how it works, run through some examples, and you'll see what the results look like. All right, let's get right into it. To get access to our agent, all you have to do is sign up at glyph.app, which is very fast and easy. So here's how this works. You go to this agent. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. When you start off, you can already tell it your idea or you can click on any of these to help you get started. For this example, I'm gonna give it two images because I wanna do a starting and last frame generation. I wanna show you a transition where my hand turns into a robotic arm, similar to Iron Man or Transformers. So I'm gonna upload my two images. This is gonna be my start frame and this is gonna be my last frame. I already used this image in a previous video where I used Kling for my first and last frame, but I'm hoping BO3.1 will do it better. So we're gonna find out. Here's what I'm gonna tell it. Analyze these two images. I wanna create a transition between them. I have a first and last frame. I want the person's arm to turn into a robot arm similar to Iron Man's suit, but do not use nanotech. He would not be speaking. And I want the camera to orbit to his left around him. All right, and then I'm gonna run this. It's gonna analyze both images and it's gonna give me a very detailed prompt. I mean, look at all this information here. There's the style of cinematography, the lens size, the motion, the duration. And look, it's breaking down the actions that are going to happen with each second of the video. This is gonna be super, super useful because we didn't have to set this up ourselves and it's giving us all the detailed information. Here I have a VO 3.1 workflow where I'm gonna bring in my images and the prompt I just generated. Here is my first frame and my last frame. I'm gonna come back to my agent and I'm gonna copy everything from prompt all the way to dialogue right here. Copy, paste. For negative prompt, you wanna put whatever you want it to avoid, but I'm gonna give it something very generic. I want it to avoid bad quality. <laughs> so let's go ahead and run this and see what the results are gonna look like. Oh wow, that turned out way better than my cling video. The way the arm assembling and all the shifting parts just looks so much better. And I love the little detail of the steam at the end. This one turned out good, but here's an important tip. If you wanna minimize wasted credits on generations, always review the prompt first and make sure it's saying exactly what you want. And here's the beauty of this agent, you can iterate. If there's something you don't like, just tell it. Say something like, I don't like this one detail in the prompt. You can go back and forth with the agent to get exactly the prompt that you want before you generate. All right, let's do another example. I'm gonna use an image of myself as the first frame and I wanna create the last frame for it. So I'm gonna use the Nano Banana workflow here on Glyph to edit the image. I'm gonna tell Nano Banana to turn me into a werewolf and put me on the top of this house, keep the same time. And there it is, definitely interesting. I'm curious to see what the results are gonna be. So I'm gonna go into the prompting agent again and give it these two images with instructions like, I want this man to turn into a werewolf and jump onto the roof and make him howl at the end. And I press enter and it's gonna give me a very detailed prompt again. This looks good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Now I'm gonna bring my images into a VO 3.1 workflow. I'll give them both images and the prompt that the agent created for me, and then I'm gonna run it. And there it is. Yeah, this is crazy. The only thing that I feel was missing is the howl at the end, it kind of roared. So I would try to go back to the agent and try to make sure that that's really highlighted. 
but overall, I'm happy with this. So there you have it. You can see how the agent makes it way easier to create the right prompts for VO 3.1. And honestly, it's gonna save you a lot of time. We got a bunch of other agents on Glyph.app doing different things, so definitely check those out. And hey, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay in the loop with the latest on new agents and AI models. Until next time, take care.